They're thinking of a very nice movie to tell you about the up north of Nigeria, you know, tell you about Bonu and Bauchi. You might want to try up north. Up north told us a story about how NYC can take you from your comfort zone down in Lagos and take you to the north and then you can experience a whole new life. This episode on The Real, I, Linda, of course, your host, will be telling you the story of Up North. Stay tuned. Hey man, listen, um, carry those bags inside for me. That's 1K now, and one more when you finish. So, Up North was a very simple movie. There wasn't really any action or extraordinary thing about it, but I just think it was really nice. I love the way there was a blend and the kind of connectivity from the first scene to the last scene. I kind of like the production was amazing. I saw another twist to the northern side of Nigeria, which I'm actually hoping that I'll be able to make it through soon. And you know, just take a, in a holiday to Bauchi, to Kano, and to some of those northern states to see what they really have. Of course, they have you know, lots of festive um, activities. They have also very fantastic culture most of us down south do not really know about. And this movie, Up North, tried to show us a very good side of the North. You know, their culture, their attitude, their behavior, how they live together. You know, their mindset towards so many things. And it was good it's about the movie. So you had Banky W, who was the lead actor in this new movie called Up North. Of course, he was a daddy's boy. He was born in Lagos, schooled abroad, had influence and friends. And just to spite him, his father allowed them to send him to anywhere in Nigeria. And will I say fortunately or fortunately for Banki, he was sent to Bauchi. So he took it in a good light and he was like, okay, let's go see what you know, the North has for us. He got there, he made new friends, he had fun during camp. And when it was time, his father wanted him sent back to Lagos and he said, no, dad. I think I want to spend my one year here. So you need to see the movie, how he met a lady that he loved, of course, who was based in the north, and how his whole life was going to change with moving back to the north, a whole Lagos big boy from clubs to flexing to having fun, moving to the north. Like, he sounded really unrealistic, but was also good. I think I also liked the fact of um, Adeswa, of course, Frankie's wife in reality, but she was married to another guy in this movie. She lived a very simple life. She was more very quiet in the movie. We didn't really hear a lot of her you know, speaking, but she played a very good role in being that typical Fulani kind of house girl where you, know, you just see them, but you don't hear them talk a lot. It was nice. I also like the fact that they tried to create a very good life about education and schooling in the north and I love what Banky did with training the girls through running, winning a competition. He brought life back to the school. Believe me when I say it was a very fantastic storyline and good. Of course, nothing extraordinary, but just the way the story was told made it really very nice. So you need to see the movie. When you see the movie, you really get to understand what I'm talking about. If you do want to stand a chance again to win a free movie ticket, of course you need to follow us across our handles on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, which is at Business Day MG. You also need to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Business Day um, on YouTube. And do leave your comments and just tell us what you think about the movie. Till I come away again, that's of course your host Linda on the real. <laughs>